think the, the way is to just follow hard after Jesus. You know, there's a prayer that I pray for me and all the men that I come in contact with. And that, uh, that God would cause me to love him deeply, to follow him closely, and to know him intimately. You know, you look at David and as a man after God's own heart. I, I, I've often pondered, what made David a man after God's own heart? You know, he had many failures, he had many victories. Uh, and there were so many men of integrity in the Bible, but it was David that God pointed out as a man after his own heart. And after studying the, the Psalms over and over again and studying his life, I don't know if this is right, but it, it, comes, it, it came to me that David's passion for God, his passion for God's word, his passion for God's glory, his passion to be in God's presence, those are the things. So for us to finish strong, we can't let up. You know, we got to train. You know, we got to, you know, I love because Paul uses, the Apostle Paul uses training. Uh, you know, I, 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 don't, uh, I don't shadow box. He says, I don't uh, punch to the air. I, you know, I beat my body and then I make it my slave. And I think that's, I, I love that. I mean, I love that analogy because I know what it's like to train hard. I know what it's like to push. And so now, all the years of football and Chuck, make, Chuck Noll making us run sprints and lift weights and practice uh, hard every day, uh, training camps that were brutal. Well, guess what? God calls us to train spiritually the same way. 